Okay, so in yesterday's video, I covered the five inch big tree tech screen uh, and I was really impressed with it. I'm still playing around with it and I still wanna try more things out. One of the things that I thought maybe could be changed uh, was to do with this ribbon cable, which obscures the SD card slot. So if you wanna take out the SD card slot, if you're using this as a portable device, uh, you have to remove this ribbon cable uh, and then take out the SD card, which was quite hard uh, because of where it is. Well, you'll see here, it's looking a bit different because the SD card is actually here. Uh, and this adapter came with uh, a free case I got from 52Pi. So they've sent me one of these uh, and they also sent me an armor case, which I need to open up and have a look at and do a video on. Uh, this rack tower came with all sorts of bits, uh, a load of screws and mounting bolts and things like that, which are really great for building on the Pi. Uh, but the bit that I got the most excited about was this. And this is basically an SD card adapter. So you can see the SD card plugs into the Pi. Uh, it's, a, it's a fake SD card. So if I put it that way around, this is how it's plugged into the Pi. So you slot that in and then it goes underneath the board and then the screws hold it in place so it's nice and solid uh, and you can see that it's got a normal sd card slot there so you can pop in and eject your sd so this is how it goes in so obviously it's a lot easier if it's fixed but you just click it and that clicks in place now i think this is really exciting and i didn't know that these were available and actually in this pack i got four of them so I've got loads of different options to play around with, uh, but I'll switch over to screen capture to show you exactly why I'm so excited about it. Okay, so why am I so excited about an SD card adapter uh, that basically moves the SD card to the other side of the Pi? Well, I think it's a great breakthrough uh, because if you have a look at this picture, you can see that it puts the SD card slot, which is here on the right, right aligned with the USBs and the Ethernet connection. So the connections that you want to get to when you're using the Pi as a portable device or as a laptop. Uh, so in the case of the Crow Pi 2, I noticed this in the videos, uh, people said, oh, if you want to change the SD card, you just turn it upside down, you take off the back and you put the SD card in. Well, that's not really that convenient. I mean, I, I get it because Otherwise, they would have had to have a ribbon to go, uh, you know, with the traditional way, you'd have had to have a ribbon to go from one side of the Pi to the other. And it is a bit inconvenient that the SD card slot is the opposite side of connections that you use very frequently. Now, this works really well for a handheld as well, because it's not very big. Uh, the adapter doesn't make the Pi much bigger, but it does put everything on the same side. So pretty much on all handhelds. Uh, now, videos I've seen, they seem to not have an SD card slot on the outside or they're using a ribbon cable, which is a less reliable solution. So with this adapter, they can have all the connections on the same side as the USB. I wonder if I've got one here which has got USB sockets shown. Here we go. Here's an example of a portable device uh, which has the USBs and the Ethernet connection showing, but there is no SD card slot because obviously it would be around about here on the Pi. So you would need to use an extender, but again, with this adapter, it's super easy to have it all on the one side. So that, and I think more for laptops uh, is excellent. You know, it's nice to be able to have access to that SD card slot. Uh, and so I really do think it's a game changer. Just to show you as well, so I'm running this on, uh, Twister OS 1.4. I've got 1.5 on another stick, but I was using this for the other video, so I wanted to use the same system. Uh, and it's running at 2 gigahertz overclock with a 750 on the GPU and uh, over voltage of 8. And you can see that it's running fine. Uh, it hasn't been overheating, but the only reason I haven't gone up to 2147 is because I haven't got a fan on this particular build, and 2147 definitely needs a fan. I think this definitely is a game changer and uh, I would like to see it in laptop projects in the future. And it was a surprise, I wasn't expecting this. Okay, so here is uh, the rack tower that I got uh, and this was given to me by 52Pi. So you can see the tower and looking through the pictures, uh, I was really excited and uh, I'm excited to build it up. I'm going to build it up and put it in a video, hopefully tomorrow. When you have a look at all the pictures, you can see why I had the thought that you wouldn't be able to get access to the SD card slot because 
they aren't showing it with the adapter. So this adapter must be new. It's almost like they'd watched my video and reacted, but it, they can't have because it was in the post already. So somehow uh, they've come up with this excellent solution. And uh, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, obviously I call it an SD card extender, but uh, it will be great to see this as a separate accessory. Um, but obviously if you need it, you can get four of them when you buy the case. Uh, and it's a cool case to have. I'm just flicking down through. So even the instructions of when you build it up. So, and this is, Twister OS is not, it's nice and smooth, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah, no, none of the pictures, uh, any of the build pictures or anything like that, none of them show it. So, uh, yeah, really, really surprised to get it. But I, I definitely think it's a game changer for portable devices and uh, especially laptop builds, just because you don't have to do anything extra to be able to get something like, you imagine the Crow Pi 2, where you don't have this scenario of having to take it apart to get to things, you can just leave it in there all the time. Okay, so I will be reviewing the tower soon. Um, I've got to build it up first, but uh, I'm so pleased about it, but I really wanted to get this SD card adapter uh, video out first, and I'll also email them, as soon as I've done the video, I'll email them a, uh, a link to the video so uh, they can make that a separate item that you can order from the website. I think that would be great. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.